will. You have right. to stay. So, Steve. Please listen, Steve. The police came to my house and told me Decker is deemed a significant risk to oh, women my. and children. So, the police came to my house and told me Decker is a significant risk to women and children. That is documented. They cannot say that without any form of reasonable proof. So, like you've been saying, the police cannot make a statement categorising somebody a significant risk without probable cause and probable merit. <laughs> so, regardless of whether it was allegations or yeah. not, there is enough evidence and credibility to deem him a risk. When we do these disclosures, when we make a decision in relation to disclosures, um, it obviously all information is taken into account, um, and it goes uh, higher than us in relation to someone making a decision as to exactly the form of words that is disclosed to okay. you. Okay, like I said, it's not war and peace. Yeah. yeah? Um, so. The dis information to disclose to you is that Eddie may pose a risk to children. Okay. Really? Yeah. So I'm not doing my house. I need a risk to kids. Okay. That does not say anything more than what that says. Okay. Okay. He may pose a risk to children. Realistically, is that any more than what you know already? Or what you thought you know already? Why? For what's on there? What's on there? Is exactly what? Is out there? Already, does that make sense? Mm. So, what's already out there? I'm not going to go any further than that. No, no, no. And you understand that we cannot go anywhere. No, I don't want to go further. Okay. As far as we're concerned, that provides you with sufficient information yeah. for you to be able to safeguard your children. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Normally, paedophiles have a long history of offences. This was a one off offence. My name is Mandy Jameson. My son, Daniel Jameson, was stabbed to death on the 3rd of July 2018. This is a message for Derek Gordon Heggy. Um, but before we do that, I'd just like to thank Emma, my Emma, and Brian for letting me do this. I asked them to do it, and I'll just clarify something as well. I've known Emma for a long, long time. She went out with my cousin for years in Liverpool, and I, she's never bullied me. Emma actually refused to tell me about Derek because she wanted me to find out myself. Um, I'd just like to say, without the help of Dave, this the whole documentary wouldn't have happened. So while you're slamming him off, go and look in the mirror. Leanne White is a grieving mother like me. Ava died just over 12 weeks ago. God love her, that's why she's not here today. She is mortified at what we've been told about you. I applied for Claire's Law and Sarah's Law. I've had them back, I've read them. I know everything about you, Daddy. And if I'd have known all that at the start, you wouldn't have got through my front door, mate. I'm just letting you know. So while you're like playing a victim, don't. Because I find it really, really insulting the fact that I allowed you in my home. Erica allowed you in her home. You're not supposed to be anywhere near women. My child was here, my friend was here. Anything could have happened. At the end of the day, without Dave, you've had no video, love. Because it's him that we trusted, not you. And I find it really, again, really, really offensive that we've been used to give you your five minute one day. I've watched all your videos on YouTube and I find it so sad. I will say it's really sad. Do you know if you've ever lost anyone, it makes you see things completely different. And I'm watching you on that video, lying, you, like, not just lying, basically. 
and what you've done to them women. And I'm a victim of domestic violence. And to me, how dare you? How? I feel like swearing, but I won't because I'm not going to call you the N-word either because that's what you want to so you can play a victim. I know you're not a victim, lovely. I know what you are. And I hope, do you know this fight that you've arranged for further attention? Because that's all you are basically is an attention seeking hobo, bag, isn't it? Hey, let's just get it right. You're screaming out for attention. You think if you don't get any attention, no one will like you. You need to get psychiatrist help because you are cuckoo completely. The other night I received um, yet another troll message to my organisation, Danny's Place from one of Derek's friends um, telling me that I've been groomed by him. No, I haven't. <laughs> Saying to me that, you know, um, Derek's innocent and, all, and everything else and, you know, poor Derek and now, well, no, it's not poor Derek at all. And Derek needs to start getting stupid women to message me to make him feel and tell him them that he's not happy with me because I've blocked him on everything. Well, why wouldn't I block you? After, what would you do if you were in my position? Would you not block me? I would. You know, at the end of the day here, yeah, you're the one that's banged out of order. I know you keep doing this, making stupid videos, you know, playing a victim and everything else that goes with it and telling your mother to stop sending me messages as well because I'm not interested. At the end of the day, I've seen the evidence. I have read your Sarah's law and your Claire's law. So, you know, you're calling everyone else. Go and look in the mirror. And Leanne White, who couldn't be on this again, because she's not good and no one would expect her to be. She's mortified with you. And I promise you this, Derek Gordon Heggie, you will never do anything in Liverpool again. I promise you that, love. You will never work in Liverpool again. Normally paedophiles have a long history of offences. This was a one-off offence. Normally paedophiles have a long history of offences. This was a one-off offence.